Thanks for introducing our story, Ms. Karen. Um, so for today's STEM challenge, I'm going to challenge you, I bet you can guess, and we've, this is actually one we've done in the STEM lab, um, not last year, but I think maybe the year before. Um, when we talked about David and Goliath before, we had you guys make a slingshot. And so that's what I want you to do again. This is a fun one, um, partly because you can use any sorts of materials for this. Um, at Messy Church, um, our so Messy Church returns tonight. Um, and I've got several families signed up. It will be back in October. We're planning on doing it on the first Wednesday in October as well, though. So be on the lookout for the sign up for that if you weren't able to make it. Um, we're doing this project actually at Messy Church um, because we're talking about David and Goliath at Messy Church. Um, and the materials that I provided are some paracord, which is really just some thicker string, uh, a piece of leather like material. It's not real leather. Um, and then some foil balls we can use as rocks. So that's all we need for that slingshot. If you don't have those things, no big deal. Yarn, string, any of that will work. Um, you can use any number of things as like the part to catch or to hold the whatever you're slinging. So you could even use toilet paper tubes. Um, you can use newspaper, paper, any of that. You, you can use tape. Um, that's probably going to be the easiest thing, the way to get stuff to stick together. I mean, honestly, you can make a slingshot from just paper. Uh, you can get really creative with this one. And so that's what I want you to do. Get creative um, with this week's STEM challenge to create your very own slingshot, just like David had um, when he was fighting against Goliath. So happy crafting, as always. Um, if you have, uh, if you do this STEM challenge, um, take a picture. We'd love to see what you come up with. That's one of the highlights of my week is whenever I get um, pictures of what people have created. And obviously I'll be able to pass it on to all the Splash volunteers. So I, cause I know that that's what a lot of us miss too, is getting to see you guys all in action and um, creating and learning and growing. So we miss you all. Um, have a great week. We can't wait until we see you guys back um, in person at Splash.